Okay, so now we're going to do some practice with the pen tool. We're going to start by opening a new document, so go to File and New, and we're going to call this Curves. And the profile is going to be print, and the units will be inches. And we'll say OK. All right, so now we're going to place a document to trace. So we're going to go to File and Place. And you're going to place the curves document that you took from your D2L. And we're going to click on the template. Now, this is an important step that will allow you to make a, a layer that is dedicated to this particular document. So don't be worried if you don't do it, though, because you can always go back and create a separate um, layer for this. Speaking of layers, you can see when we did this, it made a template layer here in the Layers panel, and it made a, another layer for us to draw on. So I'm going to double-click on the name here and call this Drawing. Okay. Let me talk a little bit about the Layer panel in Illustrator. Layers in Illustrator are used different than in Photoshop. In Illustrator, layers are used to organize your work. I'll give you an example. I'm going to place a picture here that will help you. Illustrator was built on traditional ways that um, artists worked. Here's a key line and paste up, and it's the way artwork used to be done before we had computers. And you would have a keyboard, uh, a board, where you would paste up all your materials. This happens to be for a macaroni and cheese package. And after you got everything pasted up, let's say they came back and said, well, now we would like another package but for a different, we want a different label on it. So you would put a piece of acetate over this board, or a layer, and it would be transparent, and you would paste in a different logo on that. So that gives you an idea of how Illustrator is to be organized. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the pen tool, and I see that we have a fill here, so we'll take off our fill. And I want to bring forward the stroke, and I'm just going to give it any color here. Oh, nice purple. And I'm going to go to the stroke panel here. And so that you can see what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make this seven points. By the way, strokes are always measured in points. A point is a 72nd of an inch. OK, so remember, when we draw, we always draw in the direction that we're going to be going. So you see this line is going in this direction. And if this line was continuing, it would go this way. So you can see I'm going to draw a line that is this wide. and. This handle is approximately one-third of this line. So I'm going to drag up like this. There we go. OK, so I've got that. Now, because we're going to now make a straight line, I'm going to click on this anchor point, and do you notice that I get a little carrot over by the uh, 
pen tool and that means that I'm going to change direction. So I'm going to click here and because we just lift up on the mouse to make a straight line, I'm going to lift up here and make an anchor point. And now I'm going to change direction again and I'm going to click and drag up and I'm holding my mouse down and click and drag down. And then I click here and click here. Okay, now I'm going to see I'm on the anchor point and I get the little carrot. That means I'm changing direction. Click and drag down and click and drag that up because that is the direction of my line. Okay. So you can see this isn't exactly perfect, so I can go back to my direction selection tool and I can tweak this. So I can go here, make that a little better there. And that's what artists do. They tweak their work so that it's more perfect. And you can also go down on some of these lines. There we go. And there we have a very nice line. Now, if you click here on the pen tool, you can start a new line. So every time you want to start a new line, you have to click on the pen tool. So I'm going to do this line here. So I'm going to click on drag down and click and drag up. Okay. Now you notice I'm here on the pencil. Oh, look what happened when I went down. That kind of went askew. So we have to do something a little different. I'm going to control, do a control Z here. Now, when I get a really sharp corner like that, I want to hold down my Alt key and then click on the line. And then you see it allows me to make a sharp corner. So there we go. All right. Now, I didn't hold down the Alt key to make that next line. But now I'm going to make a sharp corner again. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and click and drag down and click and drag up. I've released my Alt key and I'm holding down my Alt key now. Click and drag down and click and drag up and holding down my Alt key, click and drag down, and click and drag up. I like to liken this to patting your belly and your head at the same time because it takes some concentration. Learning to use the pen tool is definitely a skill. And it takes practice, so don't be discouraged. Just keep practicing. Now I'm going to show you how to do this bottom one. Whoops. Uh-oh. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to press the pen tool. So I'm going to control Z that and click on the pen tool and now I can do another line. So remember we're always moving in the direction of the line. So here we're going to click and Drag up and click and drag down. And this one is easy to do because it's just like walking around in a circle. I like to think about like walking around a hill or something. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is do this twice. After you've finished doing it once, 
take the eye off your drawing and make a new layer and double click on this and call it Drawing 2 and draw it again. And then I'd like you to print it out. Put your name on it and print it out. Thanks. I hope you were successful.